Uh, right now at 548, we're in the 30s. We'll be closer to 70, though, this afternoon on the emoji cast. Mild through the afternoon, 60 by noon, mostly sunny. It's going to get a little sweaty this afternoon. It's pretty warm out there. Uh, fire danger, unfortunately, is going to be high. We are expecting some gustier winds tomorrow. Today's actually fairly calm. And then a few showers. That's the good news here late Thursday, uh, late Thursday into Friday. So we are tracking a storm, and I'll give you a few more details on that coming up. Still all dark from our Viera wireless camera there in Akron. Our sunrise right around 715, and it is going to be another bright drive. Wind gusts right now have been at around 5 to 10 miles per hour. So again, it's fairly calm. Birth had passed a recent wind gust of 35 miles per hour. Winds down across southeastern Colorado. Those are a bit gustier today, and that's going to be one of the problem spots, especially tomorrow when it comes to fire danger. We're in the 50s. In fact, we're close to our normal high for the day by about 1030 in the morning. Sunshine across the state through midday with a few building clouds by the afternoon out west. In fact, there's about a 10 to 20 percent chance of picking up some isolated thunderstorms on the western slope by this afternoon. Between about 4 and 5 o'clock, we're in the upper 60s to low 70s here in Denver, and then we'll drop down into the 40s overnight, but still pretty mild with a stray storm or two rolling off the foothills. There's going to be a better chance tomorrow. Next storm is going to bring some scattered rain and snow over the western half of the state through Thursday. Now, by Thursday afternoon, it's a little cooler here. We'll be in the 60s to upper 50s by 430 with a chance for some showers. And you notice those wind vectors. Uh, it gets quite a bit stronger tomorrow afternoon. So fire danger again covering parts of eastern Colorado pretty high tomorrow, and we could unfortunately Unfortunately, get with a few of these storms some lightning, so that could also be a trigger when it comes to fire danger. Uh, temperature wise, things will cool down through the end of the week once that storm rolls through. Fire weather watches, though, have been issued for southeastern Colorado. Those go into effect tomorrow. We're likely going to see quite a few more uh, warnings for high fire danger here within the next 12 to 24 hours. 70 today, low to upper 60s on Thursday, and then we'll drop into the 50s on Friday. Chance for some showers late Thursday into early Friday. And then heading into the weekend, we're closer to normal. 62 Saturday. Jason, on Sunday, a high of about 54.